All right. Uh, welcome everyone. So what we're going to do in this lesson, we're going to show you, we're going to go over the auto layout and we're going to cover navigation and controls. And the first part, I'm going to do the auto layout. In the second part, we're going to do the navigation and control. And those are in your book, in the Swift book. So if you go to the uh, content, you will see that we have Segway and navigation. That's the one that uh, we, we did last time. And so we'll practice that. And the controls, we already did that last time and it's posted. So you can do controls, it's in the, in the UI kit. There is a unit here called control and action. So we covered this already and it's on YouTube. But what we're gonna cover, we're gonna combine this with the auto layout and the navigation. So hopefully we can finish it all to, today, okay? So now let's get started. The idea here is that you, we have a simple app. We have this app where it says, <clears throat> we have this app. Let's see. We have this simple app where I have the first screen, the user can enter username and password. And we have two buttons, register and log in. When they click on register, we'll present this modeling. If they click on log in, it will take the, will enter the username and password. And if it's correct, it will take them to this. And this would be presented in navigation bar. All right. Type. What do we do with what do we do with uh, when we design an app? It's important that you know how you're gonna lay out your screen. So we have few controls, and then we have these controls. Now we're going to use auto layout to do this, and the easiest way to do this is to use stacks. We're gonna use vertical stack, and we're going to use horizontal stack. Now you notice these look like vertical, username and password underneath it. So this is a good candidate for a vertical stack. These, they look horizontal. So this is good candidate for horizontal stack, all right? So that's what we're going to do with the first screen, okay? So I'm going to go to Xcode and I'm gonna create a new project. And let's call that login and BMI, all right? Login and BMI. Then we click on next, make sure it's Swift, make sure it's storyboard, and then the UI kit app delegate. Then we click on next, and then we create, and then we create. Now we're going to skip and go to the main storyboard. We have already, this app come already with one view controller. Now, if we're going to design the first one, we can start with this one first. What are we gonna add? We're going to add two text fields and then two buttons. All right. Now, if I add, if I click on the library, here's where we can use the controls. We have two text fields. Here's one. And you can make it bigger. And you can do, you can check, uh, change the background for this to make it gray. Well, gray is not a good thing because gray, if we put the placeholder, it's, you're not going to see. The, if it, you put a gray and a gray text, it's not gonna work very well. So I'm gonna say the placeholder enter password here. Not password, username. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so you can see it when, on the video, all right? 
Okay. And there is rounded uh, corners. Now, this one here, what kind of keyboard should we be using for this one? We're gonna use the default, the keyboard default, right? Because you could enter anything. Okay, so now I've done that one. I can command copy and then command B. And this one is going to be what? Enter password. All right. Now we need two more buttons. We need to add two buttons. Now I'm not gonna make them rounded corner now, but later on, I'll show you how they make a rounded corner. But for now, I'm just gonna use regular buttons. So I'm gonna add two buttons. This thing is in the way. You guys can't see it in the recording, but I can see it and it's bothering me. So if we add a button, here's one. And we can make it a little bit bigger. And we can make the text bigger. This one should say register. This one says, and you can again make it bigger. You can use a different background. If you want to use the same background that we did in the prototype, I think it was blue. But because it's a blue background, you can't use white uh, blue text. So what do you need to use? Blue text. So we need to use the text color to be white. Same thing with, we can do command copy this, command V, and then this is going to be login. So let's say we're done with the design. Obviously you can do a lot more, but again, I'm gonna show you what do we do with constraints and layout. Now, the problem with this is that if you put it on different devices, it's going to be a problem, right? It's going to be a problem. Because if I change the orientation of this, just simply change the orientation, it doesn't look great. Worse, if you put it on a different device, you might not see part of the text or part of the buttons, all right? So what can we do with this to make sure that when we select, when we put the, uh, run this app on different devices, we need to make sure that the layout of these controls stay reasonably the same, all right? So that's where auto layout comes in. So let's select, uh, this is iPhone, which one, iPhone, iPhone 11. I think we were iPhone 12, here's iPhone 12. All right. So what do I wanna do? Now, there are three different controls here. One of them is uh, alignment. You can align things horizontally in the middle of the screen. But because we have multiple things, not only one thing, you can't really align that horizontally centrally, right? So we will come back to this in a minute. But if we go to this one here, you can add constraints. And that's what we're going to work with. But before we do the constraint, there is something here called stack views. Stack view. A stack view, instead of setting the constraint for a particular element, and then everything else, you have to set it the same way. We can group all these controls or elements, and then we just set the layout for that stack, right? And there are two types of stacks. There is one called vertical and one called horizontal. It looks like we have two here. The username and the password, they look like they are vertical stack. And this one, they look like horizontal stack. So how do we add these stacks? You can select these two controls, this one and this one. And now when you click on this, you will get this option, which is what? Implement or embed in 
stack view. So if I select this one here, now it created the stack view for me. And I put the two fields. You can change the setting of this stack view. You can change the spacing if you want, you can increase. But because we have not, we see so you can increase the spacing between these two controls. But the problem is that this stack view has no constraints in terms of layout. I want to pin this stack view in the screen. I want it to be centered horizontally, and I want it to be certain distance from the top. So that's where we do the constraints for this stack view. So if I select the stack view, and you'll notice here, to pin something on the screen, you need two constraints and a size constraint, at least, right? Or three constraints. So if I click on this, you'll notice that I have already, it shows me the distance from, do you see this? Constraint to margin. This is, there is a distance. There is actually a safe area here. If you look at the document layout, and if you click on the safe area, you'll see that this is the safe area on top. This is where we keep like uh, messages, like a battery, Wi-Fi, all of that stuff on the phone is being displayed. So this control, this stack view is, will not come, will not be into the, uh, that safe area. It's outside that safe area. And the constraint that we add, it will be relative to that safe area, all right? Just, just to be aware of it, okay? Most of the time you need obviously these things below the safe area. So now if I click on this and then I pin this and I pin this, all right? And then if you wanted to fix the size, if you are happy with this size, what do you do? You say, I want this size and I want this height. If you want to change them, if you want to make them bigger, obviously, if, you want, if you're not happy with the width, you can use, you can make it, for example, 240. And instead of this, you can make it 150, for example. Yeah. And then you hit, after you're done, you make sure that you enter this, click on this, add for constraints. So now it added these four, four constraints here, 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 here. Now, if we have errors, the priority, enter username. Okay. If you click on to fix these, it tell you decrease the vertical uh, hugging uh, of this. Most of the time, if you, this is if you have errors in the auto layout, it will appear here. So most of the time, if you click on this and then you say change priority, then it's happy. All right. Now hide this. Now that's okay for the first one, but what about the username and the password? It's not okay because they don't have any constraints. Again, if you change the orientation or display it on a different device, it'll be a problem. All right. So what do we do? We select those two. I'm gonna select those two. And again, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna make them embed in, stack view. And this time is going to be horizontal. So this one was vertical. This one was horizontal, but this is a problem with this one. Do you see that? Why? Because the buttons are close to each other. So what do we need to do with this one? We need to change the size of the stack view, all right? Either you can do it this way, and let's see if that works. I don't think it's gonna work, okay? No. So what we need to do, we need to set the, we need to set for the stack view, we need to set the size, and then we need to set the constraints the vertical and the horizontals. So if I select this guy here, 
and then I go to the alignment, to the uh, constraints. Now, instead of 250, sorry, instead of the width is 157, I'm gonna make that 300, for example. And for the height, if you wanna make it more than that, we can make it 50, for example. And for the layout, constraints, notice the distance is from here, spacing to the nearest neighbor. Who is the nearest neighbor to this? The stack of view, the vertical stack of view. So this 47 is related to this one. So whatever that thing moves, this moves with it, all right? And I'm going to do this here. And this one, let's just leave it because I set I only set the starting point. Because I set the width, I don't need to do this one, all right? So I have these two points, the top, the side, and the width and the height, all right? And that should be enough. So now if I add the four constraints, now I have a problem, right? With the sizes of the button, or maybe you can make it bigger. Maybe I can make it bigger, right? How do I make it bigger? Let's fix the problem with the buttons. Yeah, so what you can do when you say distribution, you can say fill equally under distribution. So fill equally, fill proportionally, fill equal spacing. That's doesn't right, look right. So it's probably we wanna do fill equally. Is that clear? Yeah. So after you select this stack of you, you can do alignment, you can do center if you want. And then you can do fill equally. So it will have equal spacing, if equal sizes for the objects within that stack. All right, is that clear? Type. Now we have a problem with this. So either I need to move this centrally to more to the center, or I need to what move it to what make the stack view bigger. So how do I make the stack view bigger? I can go to the measurement here. Do you see that measurement? You can go to, do you see this is the height? This is the width. You can edit it. And I can make it instead of 300, I can make it for example, 340 and hit enter. Notice now it got bigger. So where do you do, after you add the constraints, where do you add the constraints? Where do you modify these constraints? You go, you select the stack of you or the control, and then you go to the measurements, size inspector. If you click on this, it will give you all the constraints that you have for that control. And you can also delete them. If you don't want them, you can delete them. For example, this one leading is a problem. I want these to be centered in the middle, in the middle of the screen. So how do I center this in the middle of the screen? I can delete the leading. Do you see this leading? Well, this one here, I select it and I hit the delete. It's going to give me an error. So how do I fix it? I wanna add an alignment to this. I want it to be in the middle. So here you have an alignment. You click on it and then say horizontally in the container. So if I add this, now it's happy and put it in the center. All right, I'll repeat that again. So if, you're, if you wanted to center this, let's do it with the vertical stack view the same way. So for the vertical stack view, I have this leading space, but I don't want to, to have that leading space. I want it to be centered in the middle. So I wanted to delete this leading constraints. So I go to measurement, I go to uh, uh, the leading, I select it, I delete it. But again, you need two points to anchor this stack. So now what do I do? I need to add another constraint. And how do we add another constraint? In the first one, alignment, I can select 
align it horizontally. And now if I click add, now it's happy. So this is in the center, this is in the center, this is the distance from the top, this is the size of this, this is the size of this. And now if I change the orientation, it looks like it's center in the screen, right? Huh? Okay, so this is how we do layout and constraints, all right? So vertical stacks, horizontal stacks, and alignment. Let's stop at this, and then we'll continue in the next one. All right, I'll see if, who, if you guys have any questions.